Today is the 10th of October, Thursday. And it is World Mental Health Day. And um, Murtha is here and he's going to be, we're going to be talking everything mental health in the workplace, at home. I think we're going to touch on everything because this is something that we really do need to kind of delve into more. I think, I think, I think a mental health should be on every day. Good morning. Good morning. How are um, you doing today? Today I am stressed. <laughs> now you, the one who's supposed to de-stress me. Yes, yes. So this is, this is the thing. Uh, we have to start by acknowledging how we are, uh -huh. right? So if you know that I'm stressed, then you're going to know how you're going to work with me. But right. if, if, if I come in and say, I'm fine, and then I've got a lot on my head, you're going to pile a lot more on, uh -huh. so it's not going to help. So we need to check in. So it's, it's check in how you're feeling. Right. So when you are saying check in, it's important for me to be honest about my Absolutely. standing. I just have to tell the truth. Tell the truth without necessarily going into greater detail. Yeah? Okay. Okay. You could be having a fight with your husband at home. You don't necessarily have to tell the whole world that. You yeah. can just say, guys, I'm stressed today. I've got a lot on my mind. Mm -hmm. So as we work, just bear that in mind. Mm -hmm. So that, that also helps the people you work with know how they're navigating spaces with you. Now, right. especially if you've got a system where you all check in, you actually create a safe space to allow each other to express your emotions in a safe way. Did mm. you tell me the truth when I asked you how you were today? I think we, we just got used, you know, when we see each other, we greet each other, it, it just becomes a greeting. I'm fine. Yeah, yes. I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm yeah. good. Exactly. So yeah. I think it's important. I love it. Not that. really knuckling down on the details, yeah. Yeah. but hey, guys, just take it easy on yeah. me. Yeah. Because I'm going through a lot right now. So both listen. When I remember at one point I was really stressed and then somebody would say, well, don't bring your problems to work. Mm. So how mm. do you deal with that issue? Because many people have different characters. Some are really strong and they mm. just tug through mm. it. Some aren't. So if I'm going to be saying, hey, guys, I feel a little bit tender today. Yeah. Uh, and then it'll be like, oh, what? My problem is Yeah, but this is where we're saying we need to create a culture mm. where, I don't know if you guys group in before you go into your spa separate spaces. I used to work on wards, right, where when you come in, before you go and meet the patients that are admitted there, you group in, you get a handover of this is what our day looks like, this, these are the events that we have in place, and then things are delegated. So that is a space where you can then say, guys, you know, um, as we check in, before we actually get into the main core of the business, how are we? Who's, who's up for the morning rush today? Who's up for going to record the news in Mount Pleasant? Where are we at? Mm -hmm. So we're working as a team rather than, oh, the news is yours, so go and do it, regardless of yeah. how you are. Mm -hmm. So we need those kind of spaces where we can come together, check in. So if I then see you're stressed and you're snapping, I'm not surprised and I'm not going to say don't bring your problems to right. work if we've checked in and we know where we're at. Mm -hmm. So those are the kind of foundations that we need to set up, especially in the workplaces. We also need to talk more about mental health. Mm -hmm. We need um, to invite people who know and understand what mental health is about. Just brief the staffing to say if you notice you've got this symptom or this is going on, please feel free to ring a confidential line and talk to a therapist or to go to a friendship bench. Right. All those kind of um, resources are available out there, but people don't know this. Okay, so if my question is, is it, an, is it a matter of not knowing or it's a matter of culture? You know, some, that culture barrier that you have to break through. Because Absolutely. we can be talking about this, but at the end of the day, Howard is not used to, uh, I'm, I'm a man, I'm supposed mm -hmm. to deal with it. Mm -hmm. He's not mm -hmm. used to that. Not, not, not only that, because the culture that you're talking about, if you, well, for me, uh, I'm one of the bosses. <laughs> <laughs> so there's, it's the relationships at work, right. you yeah. know. Yeah. You don't have to be all bossy. Because at Absolutely. the end of the day, we Absolutely. are looking at being productive. Yes. At the workplace. Yes. At the end of the day, we need to make profits. We need to make money. Mm. But how do mm. we become productive when we don't know the mental state of our employees? Exactly. Exactly. 
So that's where the catch is. So going back to culture, I agree. Um, it's, it's, it's a bit of both, right? Culture says you do things in this way. And therefore, it then doesn't allow you to get the knowledge to do things a different way. So you're basically then having to follow culture to the T without stepping out to say, actually, what does a different culture do in a situation like this? Mm. It's, it's like religion. You don't do Catholic things when you're in a Pentecostal church, right. do you? You stick to your teaching. Yeah. Whatever they teach you there, that's what you do, regardless of whether that's right or wrong. So what we're saying here is as, as we evolve as a people, we need to review our cultures and say, it, does this still apply? Does this still work? Or can we look to do something differently? Can we change the culture? Because culture is not about what was done 20 years ago. It's what do we do now to make things work? Because our children are going to look at what we do now 50 years down the line and say, this was our parents' culture. Yeah? It's what we are doing now to survive, not what, what was done 20, 20, 50 years ago. Mm. So those are the key issues, mm. especially with how we are as a people, how we evolve as a people. Mm. Look at what the world we're in now. It's more techno world, right? Um, I was looking at even the way we were advertising. A lot of our advertising has been through uh, social media, um, not so much uh, traditional media, yeah. but it's more electronic media yeah. on Twitter, on Facebook, Facebook Instagram, on and them. all those kind of spaces. That's the new culture now. But if we just go and say, oh, everything, we're just going to print in the Herald, mm -hmm. you actually might find not many people read the Herald as much anymore. Right. And therefore, you're going to miss a huge chunk of the people that you could have. Right. So I have a quick question. Um, speaking about mental health, obviously, in the workplace. If, mm -hmm. say, Howard is my boss, and he's the toppest mm -hmm. boss, mm -hmm. and I have an issue with him right. that's mentally challenging me, mm -hmm. how, how, who do I report to? Who do I tell? Because then somebody who's lower than him, can they just tell him? Because he's on the top tier. So I'm here at work, and I'm thinking, this guy is... Mental health, younger yet mm -hmm. How, as an, an employee who's on this level, mm -hmm. really get the message across to him? Do right. I write an anonymous email? Do I, mm -hmm. you know, do I talk to you to come to workplace to speak to him? What happens? Because I do know right. there's a lot of situations like that. Absolutely, that's a, that's a very good question and a critical one actually. But a lot of the time, you realize that it's not about Howard, okay? But it's about how I perceive Howard, okay? Howard might trigger you to a time when someone who looked like Howard treated you in a certain way. I see. Yeah? So a lot of what we actually struggle with is not necessarily about the other person, but the other person triggers you, right? So what you then need to know is, Howard reminds me of this person who was very nasty to me at school. That guy who bullied me in high school. So every time I see Howard, I really get angry. <laughs> I want to fight back. I want to fight him. So a lot of that is really about what you are carrying in your head more than what he is He's doing. done. So yeah? the problem, I need to come to you and have exactly. a session. Exactly. Have a session. Okay. Get to understand why Howard triggers you, why he makes you feel that way. Right. Because people out there have got different characteristics. You're going to agree with him. You're not going to agree with him. You're going to hate that one you're going to love that one so you have all that around you everywhere right there is no place you're going to go and you're not going to find someone you don't like right yeah right you, likewise you're also going to find other people you like and you don't even know why you like them yeah yeah all that is because of what you're carrying in your head and you as an individual exactly okay so everywhere we go we go with this okay and this is how we judge whatever situation we go into the person we look at and like, it's not necessarily about them. Yeah. <laughs> it's about something else that you, you might not even know yeah. about. Okay. Yeah? Okay. So that's where the critical element of you having insight of what is it that this person makes me feel. 
And that's what's critical. So this is where I was saying, invite us. We, 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 we happy, we'll happily come and share all these things so that your employees start to understand what dynamics they're dealing with mm -hmm. and what they can do so that it doesn't become difficult at work and affect productivity. Perfect. Now, Mirtha, obviously, because today is National Mental Health Day. World. World. It's global. Global. Today you have commemorations, you have activities that you are doing today. Yes. Tell us a bit more about that. So, um, like I said, it's a global thing. Right. Right? So, a every country that values mental health would be doing something right. about it t today. Now, um, the idea around day days like this, because it's on the 10th of October every year, all right? So as a country, we need to make that important and make sure that we plan and do something that helps our, whether it's a workplace or people struggling with <coughs> drugs or people with um, other mental health issues, then know that there is support. Mm -hmm. And it's also about um, talking to government leaders, uh, corporate leaders, uh, NGOs, to say what services are needed right. so that there is a co coordination mm -hmm. of saying, we have community mental health services mm -hmm. that whilst you're at home, you can go to someone just walk into a center mm -hmm. and talk to someone about what you're going through without necessarily having to queue up in a certain place. Parenya to yeah. Annex, uh, Harare Hospital, which already carries a stigma that yes, you know exactly. what I mean? Yes. So if we can create community mental health services mm -hmm. where you know this is just a space that people just go in, even community centers, mm -hmm. people go in, they play cards, they do all sorts of things that help them do to we feel have, do connected. Do we have that? We don't, okay. unfortunately. This is why we're trying to raise some of these issues. Okay. So today is mainly, the theme for this year is focusing on how we can prioritize mental health in the workplace. Because mm -hmm. again, this is a space that we spend most of our time in. You spend well, at least... Uh, a third of your day, day here, yeah, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. If not half of your day here, and then at home, the other half you're sleeping. Exactly. So you only yep. have a very small time at home. Mm -hmm. So the most time you're awake and productive is in the workplace. So if we can help manage and prioritize mental health in the workplace, we're likely to be able to one make things better at home, two help improve our economy, right, and how we work together as, yeah. a, as a people. Yeah. That's, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Martha, where do, we, where do we go? Where do we find you? Is there free yes. numbers? And, and also I wanted to ask, these centers that are coming up, things that are there now, is it free? Or do we pay? A, uh... Some of them are free. Some of them, like ours is a private organization, so ours is a paid, in, is, but even though we have a small quarter of uh, pro bono type uh, cases, okay. but um, this is why we need to partner up with NGOs okay. and other community-based organizations so that those NGOs who get funding from elsewhere yeah. are then able to provide that service for you for free, yeah. like the Friendship Bench, for example. I've talked about that a little. Mm -hmm. um, you can just call them and say, I'm struggling with something. And they will link you up with a therapist or with a counselor, and then you get that help for free. Okay. But if you don't want to wait for that, you can then ring us directly and say, I'm struggling. Can you book me in a session this afternoon? Okay. Then you come through, then it's, we it's sit down. Good. So it's having to set up those services mm -hmm. so that people know where to go. Mm -hmm. One of the things that most people struggle with is not so much that I've got a mental health problem, like we talked about right at the beginning, yeah. I'm stressed. Where do I go with my stress? Right. What do I do? Who can help me? So if people become aware of that, it becomes much easier to then know if I've got a problem with my husband, I go to, to that person, that and, person and that can work, help me. I go here. You see now. Okay. So those okay. are the things that are critical. Mm -hmm. So at Harare Gardens today, we'll be talking more about that. But most importantly, we'll also have some very basic uh, what we call psychological skills 
techniques that people can practice. Right now, as I've been sitting here, I've been practicing some. You might not have been aware of yeah. it, but I've been practicing it because <laughs> I know what I'm doing and how it's done. It's very simple things. The way you breathe, for example. All right. You know? Yeah? You control your breathing. If you control your breathing, you control your thinking. Your mind. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So if you're not in control of your breathing, you're not in control of your mind. So those are the other simple things that... When you, you come to a royal gardens us, yeah. today, you will be able we'll to know. pick up one or two from that. So what time is this event? It's starting at uh, 9. Okay. Fingers crossed. Okay. You know, 9 o'clock. <laughs> 9 o'clock. Could be 2. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we, we try to be on time. Okay. Um, it's, it's a very short day. Uh, uh, unfortunately, because um, our planning got a little bit muddled up because we were hoping to have more partners <coughs> and because other partners then came really late we couldn't then put in other things so the day ended up being shorter than what we had initially thought it would be yeah so all those things then affected what could You're be done today. done today okay did you have any questions no I'm, I'm just worried it has to start on time my mental health is, <laughs> is important. <laughs> it will start on time. Don't worry about that. <laughs> no, uh, it's one of those things. I think time is a very important resource. Mm -hmm. Okay? As much as we talk about the economy, we sometimes forget that when we don't prioritize and utilize our time, mm -hmm. we actually then lose man hours that end up, you know, in the end, we end up being stressed because the other 16 hours we could have used to do this, we were thinking, oh, we've got too much time. Mm -hmm. And then we don't do what needs to be done. We only leave everything to the last hour. And then we're like, oh, who's coming? Just, yeah. bring, just call anyone. Yeah. All those kind of things are stressful. When, when the event then happens, it's not the way you wanted it, you to. Want it to, to be. And that stress you had planning the event becomes carried over because yeah. it didn't turn out the way you hoped it would turn out. Yeah. So it's stress on top of stress on top of stress. Okay. Well, that's fantastic that you are doing this, kind of helping the community, helping us. And uh, uh, Harari Gardens, you said, at 9 a.m.? Harari Gardens, free 9 o'clock, free entrance. Okay. Um, we're hoping there might be free T-shirts. Oh, free T-shirts too? Hope. Uh, okay. Hope. Okay. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Okay. Fingers crossed. <laughs> So it, it might be a few things haven't really fallen in place, but we're not going to stop doing things yeah. because we haven't got everything perfectly lined up. Yeah. Okay. So those are, again, some of the things that you have to think about. Okay. We might not get it perfectly right this no, time. No, but and next time we're going to get it done. And next time yeah. and next time, the more we work on those things, the better we get at them. Excellent. Perfect. Thank you so much, Beth, for joining Thank us. Thank you very much for having uh, me. Konapo, konapo, ipapo, ipapo, Bazetian Prime, DSTV Channel 294, the place to be.